Tableau by for Tableau developers. Introduction. In the fast-paced and ever-changing by industry, flexibility is king. Learning how to adapt and how to be creative with your solutions is the only way to keep up. One of the ways you can do this is to be well-versed in multiple buy and reporting platforms to make sure that your tool belt includes whatever tools necessary to provide your client with the most appropriate solution. Product Overview Tableau and Power Buy are both extremely powerful buy tools positioned on the top as leaders in Gartner's quadrant with both having unique strengths and weaknesses that have been repeatedly analyzed by members in both communities. The comparisons are unavoidable, as they are the two biggest names in buy at this time and they find themselves fighting for a lot of the same clients. While they may compete with one another in the market, you will often find both products being used in large enterprises. There are a lot of reasons for this, but one of them is that they both have use cases that fit one product more than the other. Powered by is an extremely powerful data modeling tool that has a lot of great visualization capabilities. Power Query allows users to do things that most other buy products require whole other software and subscriptions to do. Tableau Prep, Alteryx, Nine, etc. Once developing the front end of your report, Power Buy's visualization capabilities are solid, but sometimes not the most flexible. The types of charts you can use are limited to the charts found in the visualizations pane and in the marketplace. All in all, the visual capability will get the job done 95% of the time. Tableau, on the other hand, is a pure data visualization tool. Although they are trying to catch up with Power Buy's data engine capabilities, they introduced relationships in 2020, there is still a lot to be desired in that category. Tableau's visualization interface is 100% customizable, the visualizations are not limited to a list of charts found in the program. You start with an X and Y axis and you are allowed to put any different combinations of dimensions and measures in those slots to create the visual of your choice. All in all, both of these products are effective in delivering insights to their customers. Both of them have instances where their technology trumps the other, maps in Tableau, data modeling in Powered By, but more often than not your use case could be handled by either. Now, for Tableau folks that are reading this blog looking for more insight into using Powered By, you must realign your priorities and focus. Power Buy's mission is to enable insights for the most amount of people possible giving them the most data and analytics possible in the most timely and data efficient way possible. This means a huge focus on data modeling, performance optimization, and data governance. In order to truly understand Power Buy, Tableau users must first make that shift in mindset. Terminology, Power Buy vs Tableau we will cover some of the conceptual differences, let's now look at some of the most commonly used terms when discussing power by that Tableau users should know about, and how they relate to the world they're coming from. The terms on the left are the Tableau terms and the ones on the right are the power by terms. Much like when translating languages, these terms may not be 100% direct translations due to various quirks or differences, but they still are still mostly the same thing. Tableau Desktop slash Power by Desktop We are starting off easy here as both of the desktop versions of the software are called desktop. Both Power by and Tableau use this software as the base for the development of the content. Both software have development capabilities in their web storage server slash service interfaces but both are more limited than their local desktop versions. You can download Power by Desktop for free from powerby.com if you want to use this to get started on learning the tool. Tableau offers Tableau Public as a way to publish to their free online server, Tableau Public, but the free version of Power by Desktop is far more capable than Tableau's free version. Tableau Dashboard, Power by Report The naming of what is called a report and dashboard can drive a former Tableau user nuts. Unlike Tableau, in Power by every tab in your desktop file, called a Bix file, is like a dashboard in Tableau. You add chart elements and text to the blank canvas you are given, to form what's called a report. In Tableau the tabs are called worksheets and you drag worksheets onto a dashboard tab to create your final dashboard. Just remember, when Power by users talk about a report, 
they are talking about a dashboard in Tableau terms. Tableau Server, Power by Service When publishing reports for users, both platforms use online or on-premise data repositories that are accessed via web links. Powered by users publish their reports to Power by Service and Tableau users publish their dashboards to Tableau Server. Even though these storage platforms serve a similar purpose, their functionalities can be quite different. Both services allow for the publishing of datasets and visualization content. You can group your content in Power by by using workspaces and in Tableau Server by using projects. Both allow you to restrict access to content by managing permissions at different levels throughout service slash server. One distinct feature of Power by Service is the ability to create apps. Apps in Power by Service are wrappers that allow a constant link for chosen content from a workspace to be displayed allowing users to easily consume and share content without fear of links breaking. Tableau Dashboard, Power by Dashboard Powered by dashboards and Tableau dashboards are nothing alike. There is actually nothing like a Powered by dashboard available in Tableau. Powered by dashboards are hosted in Powered by service and contain chart elements from different Powered by reports from that workspace. You can customize these dashboards with text and images, but for the most part, they are just a snapshot slash preview of the content found in the other reports in your workspace. There is no item like this in Tableau. But to give a comfort, Tableau's dashboards consist upon variety of sheets coming from single published project. Furthermore project shall contain metrics which is an introductory feature by Tableau to compete cross-functional reporting in Tableau. Tableau Prep, Power Query Tableau users will understand Power Query if you imagine Tableau Prep being available as an app within Tableau Desktop. Power Query is an extremely powerful data transformation tool found within Power BI. It allows you to perform any number of data restructuring functions that are then loaded into your data model for you to develop with. Think of Tableau Prep, but with far greater capabilities such as custom functions, parameters, and web scraping features. Power Query uses a different syntax for formulas, call them, than the front end of Power BI does, callbacks. So learning Power Query can almost be seen as learning an entire other program. Its functionality is so large, it might take a while to learn how to fully leverage it, unlike the fairly straightforward and easy to use Tableau Prep. Tableau Syntax, Power by DAX Once your data has been imported in whatever form it may be, you will need a way to manipulate the data to create the KPIs or metrics that are needed for your report slash dashboard. The Tableau syntax is more of a free-form coding syntax than it is anything else. In Power by this language to create new measures or columns is called DAX, and it presents some syntax similarities to Excel formulas. Given the Microsoft connection, people who are used to working with Excel may find using DAX to be fairly similar. Tableau Load, Power by Calculate one of the most common questions I hear from Tableau developers interested in learning Power BI is how do I do level of detail LOD, calculations in Power BI? This is certainly a good question that doesn't have a straightforward answer per se. Tableau developers rely heavily on loads because of the flat file structure that their data has had to be in, until recently, so this question is only natural. Power BI can take care of a lot of the aggregation calculations simply by modeling the data correctly. However, when this does not fit all the needs, the calculate function in Power BI is the closest thing. This calculate function allows you to calculate aggregations of different measures within different levels of filter context to get the level of aggregation that you desire. Some of the DAX functions you need to use to create the filter context are all, all selected, and I'll accept. TableauPublic.com, Power by Galleries For a lot of Tableau users, Tableau Public is a huge part of their learning and involvement in the broader Tableau community. It's an online gallery where folks can share and favorite visualizations published by their favorite authors. Power by Galleries within the broader Microsoft Power by Communities is similar, but it also includes the Power by Forums. Although the concept is very close, Tableau Public does offer a lot of nice features not found in the Power by Data stories such as being able to search for specific authors. 
similarly to the way that you're able to share work publicly by posting a Tableau visualization to Tableau Public, you are able to publish to web with Power BI. Publish to web allows you to publish a Bix file to your personal workspace using any kind of data source, and then create a link that you can embed anywhere on the web. Even though the data stories gallery may leave much to be desired, the publish to web feature is an extremely cool feature. Similarly to the way that you're able to share work publicly by posting a Tableau visualization to Tableau Public, you are able to publish to web with Power BI. Publish to web allows you to publish a Bix file to your personal workspace using any kind of data source, and then create a link that you can embed anywhere on the web. Even though the data stories gallery may leave much to be desired, the publish to web feature is an extremely cool feature. Product Interfaces For those Tableau users that haven't taken a look at Power BI yet, let's take a look at how the interfaces differ from one another. In both instances, we have loaded a data set with NCAA Football Financial Data. For Tableau users who are taking a look at the Power BI layout for the first time, we will use Tableau Lingo to get you familiar with the product. After loading the data, something we'll go into later, in both platforms you are brought to the blank development interface. Tableau users will recognize the familiar columns and rows layout just waiting for blue and green pills to be put there. We have numbered the two different layouts with several features that you may want to know where to find. 1. Get Data 2. Table Names 3. Field Names 4. Formatting 5. Filters 6. Tab Name 7. View 8. Visualization Menu 9. Fields Used in Visual. There really is no huge difference between the overall layouts. There are many of the same capabilities in both tools, you just have to find where they're located. Once you figure that part out, it's really just a matter of finding out how to make a lot of your favorite chart types. This is where Tableau and Power BI differ, the ease of customization. In the next section, we'll discuss creating visualizations in both Power BI and Tableau. Demonstration, how to create visuals. In the upcoming demo we create the same visualization with most platforms, a bar chart showing the coaches' compensation by year at the University of Cincinnati. Tableau Demonstration To create this visualization in Tableau we need to place the appropriate dimensions and measures in their respective places to get the visual to show. Tableau automatically recognizes that this should be shown as a line chart, but if we wanted to change the chart type we could find marks card and change the chart type to a bar chart or another variety of charts. Power by Demonstration The first step in creating this chart is to open your visualization pane and choose the line chart visual. This will put an empty template for a line chart on your report. You will see that in your fields ribbon there are different slots available that you can populate with your fields available to the right. We drag the years to the axis field, coaches compensation to values, and then school to legend. As you can see, both platforms can create some really cool looking visuals with some differences in how to get there. Hopefully, this quick intro has helped some of the folks seeing Power BI for the first time understand how to create a visual. Conclusion and Learning There are so many features that as a Tableau user you will absolutely love in Power BI. Give it a chance. Is it different? Absolutely. Hopefully, this video has given you a taste of what you can expect using Microsoft Power BI and how some of the functionalities are similar. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more content, news on analytics and business intelligence.